Hello everybody and welcome to another video of Breaking Bad English with me, David. Taking exams is an important part of many people's objectives when it comes to learning a language. And in this video, I would like to particularly talk about the FCE exam and the CAE exam. They are both Cambridge exams and they are at a B2 and C1 level respectively. Now the difference between a really, really good student and a good student can be and is often the use of adjectives. Adjectives, in my opinion, are very powerful words when we speak a language and they can describe things in much more detail. So the quality of the adjectives used influences the overall grade of a student's ability to speak a language. So in this video, I want to give you 20 excellent adjectives which you can use both in your spoken exam and your written work in the exam in order to, to achieve a really, really high grade. Okay, so the adjectives are arranged alphabetically and I will go through them. So the first one is adorable. The word adorable. Oh, look at that adorable dog. Adorable means lovely, beautiful, attractive, but in a strong way. The next word and adjective is brilliant. I saw a brilliant film yesterday. I really enjoyed it. Brilliant means extremely good. The next adjective which you can use is the word chivalrous chivalrous and of course it's written below the video so you know how to spell it and it means very very courteous extremely courteous so uh, he is a chivalrous man what a good adjective don't you agree the next one is devastating now of course news can be devastating and I can be devastated so it depends upon what we're talking about, either the object or the person, as to which form of the adjective we use. But I was devastated when I heard the news, because the news was devastating. That's a very nice adjective. The next one is elaborate. So elaborate means sort of elegant and detailed. I saw a very elaborate picture in the art gallery yesterday. It had a lot of detail on it. Okay. The next word is rather a nice word. It's called frivolous. I'll repeat it, frivolous. And frivolous means sort of silly and trivial or unimportant. Uh, and it could be used like this. His comment was frivolous, so his comment was unimportant. An excellent word to use. The next word is an unusual one, and it means extremely big. And the word is gargantuan. I'll repeat it, gargantuan. So it means huge or enormous, but it's an alternative which you can use in exams. The next one is very unusual. And the word is halcyon. And halcyon means peaceful or happy. I remember the halcyon days of my youth. Yeah, does that make sense? The next word, maybe you've heard it before, perhaps it's not so complex, is the word idyllic. Idyllic. Last year I went on holiday to an idyllic location, far away from the busy city. Okay? Ideal, basically, idyllic. The next adjective begins with J and it's jubilant. Jubilant. And jubilant means sort of overjoyed or triumphant in a happy way. So after he won the match, the player was jubilant. The next one is rather a short word, but a nice one. And it's kooky. I'll repeat it. Kooky. Um, kooky means sort of strange but attractive. 
um, I could say uh, she speaks with a kooky voice. A little bit unusual, but attractive, yeah? That's a nice word, that. The next word is luscious. Luscious. A luscious means literally with food, sweet and tasty. But uh, I could say, for example, I saw the luscious green fields in the countryside. So it's a good adjective. You can use it for visualization, talking about something you can see, and you can use it for food as well. The next word, rather a long one, is magnanimous. Oh, yeah, difficult one. I'll repeat it. Magnanimous. So, um, magnanimous means sort of forgiving and generous in a way. Um, so, when the player won the match, he was magnanimous in victory. So, he congratulated the other player and sort of consoled him, looked after him and said, never mind, but you played really well. So, that's a not rather a nice word, magnanimous. Use it. The next word, another one which means really, really good, is stupendous. Uh, the food was stupendous, the film was stupendous, or this is a stupendous book. It means fantastic as in excellent. Yeah. The next word is sublime. And again, it means something which is very, very good. So um, we could say it was a sublime party, a very good or marvellous party. The next word is often confused uh, because people get the wrong idea about it. And the word is terrific. Now, to me, 99% of the time, the word terrific means really good, like tremendous, terrific. So, I saw a terrific film yesterday, or I had a terrific meal, or my holiday was absolutely terrific. Do you understand? So, it means really good. Uh, the next word is ubiquitous, ubiquitous. So uh, it means found everywhere, all over the place. So um, the, the articles a, an and the are ubiquitous in the English language. So we can see the words a, an and the all over the place. Or we could say, for example, Flowers are ubiquitous in the summertime. The next word means very unpleasant or disgusting, and the word is a short word. It is a vile, V-I-L-E. This food is vile. Mm, it's horrible. Don't eat it. Okay. But you can use vile about anything. Okay. A vile animal or... Um, a vile situation, a vile person, perhaps. The next word, rather a nice word, it's coming up, and it is whimsical. Whimsical, that's an adjective. It means unusual and funny. Funny as in uh, laughing funny. So I could say a whimsical drawing. So somebody makes a drawing on paper with a pencil and it's sort of funny, the drawing. So I can say it is whimsical. It's a nice word. And the last one, beginning with Z, is zany. I'll repeat it. Zany. So zany means sort of silly, strange or goofy. Um, yeah, my best friend Paul is a little bit zany, okay, but he's nice, but he's a bit crazy. So instead of saying crazy, crazy is being a bit, you know, mad, silly, I mean, I would like to say zany, okay? So those are 20 really, really good adjectives to use in FCE, written form and speaking, and CAE, written form and speaking, as well as any other exam you're taking in English. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any adjectives you would like to add to this list, let me know. Thank you, and I'll see you again soon on another video of Breaking Bad English with me, David. Goodbye.